This is my last evening here in Nebraska and getting ready to head out for the afternoon hunt. It's the best evening. The best of the best. Yep. Today's the one. Um, but I've got Ev Terrell here and he's been hosting us and it's been a, a fine, uh, fun hunt. And, uh, um, but I wanted to catch him before we get out and talk about the Code of Silence line. Ev is the owner of the Code of Silence brand. So let's talk about um, what you've got in the line and then some of the categories of, of apparel, you know, what, what the application is for each yeah, one. Perfect, awesome. So we'll start with, you've got three categories yep. of, of outer wear. Three main categories right now. Yep. So what are they? Kind of cool is what I would say, just in simple okay. terms, Bill. We have cool, kind of, you know, cold and then extreme cold on, okay. the, on the far end here. So what do you call the different ones? Okay, well the cool product uh, is, is our Zone 7 Versa series, Versa for a reason, even though it's it's a product that you can wear in cool weather at 50 degrees. It's, it's basically a shell, and I've worn this with good layering systems all the way down to seven, you know, kind of upper single digits. Yeah, so. I know I wear that that line yep. primarily. A ton. You've had it on a yeah. bunch here. Yeah. yeah. So then, what's next then? What's so the next, the next is is our dialed in series. Okay. okay. And it just is a little bit uh, more insulation, has a few more cold weather features for it. So it's it's our our colder, if you would. So. Okay. So what would you say like? without getting too far into the weeds here. Like the typical guy might wear this for say early to mid season. And this might be in a normal climate, mid to late. But if you're really in cold, then your next category is gonna be like the end of the season. Extremely cold. And that's our, our cold fall line. Okay. And it's like, you know, I can hardly even be, wanna be out there and I need the best I can get. And that's a, that's our go-to. Okay. I, yeah. I've never heard anyone complain to tree stand of being too warm, you know, especially <laughs> at least, you know, after November 1st. Anyway. Yeah. And so I mean, it's a long sit up there and it's, you know, you're yeah. hold, trying to hold still. It's hard to keep warm. Yeah, that's what I've noticed too. Is like, you can be active and, and you don't need a lot of clothes, but once you sit still for, you know, the yeah. first half hour, you're fine no matter what, and it starts to creep in. Exactly. You know, if you're sitting there exactly. for three, four hours, yeah. You're, you're really feeling it. Well, and you've been handling that really well with your, you know, carrying your stuff in and mm -hmm. trying to keep the perspiration down because that's your enemy when you when you yeah. do finally sit down. If you sweat it up, uh, you know, then you're gonna have a big, way bigger challenge. Yeah, and that's I always have preached that, and I always do that. So, uh, okay, with that in mind, let's go through the individual products. Are they yeah. all are they the same in each? In each of the categories, like these, offer the same pieces in each one. No, we really don't. We, you know, expanded a little bit. Um, you know, our Zone Seven Versa series is basically in a shell and then a wind-resistant layer and then a lining. We have a vest, which I've been wearing even under our middle series, just as an extra insulation layer. Or in the evenings, I, I might just have this on over the top of, you know, some some heavy layering stuff, and that's my outerwear piece. Okay. And so, yeah. really versatile piece. But anyway, we have a zip-leg pant, which again is so awesome yeah. to be able to wear in and then put on over the top of boots like I Car have on. Carry it. Exactly. Yep. yep. And then we have just a, it's a fairly simple hoodie, but um, really well made with articulated arms and a, a really nice peripheral vision hood. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple fabrics here and um, drawstring waist, upper chest pocket, you know. We don't get carried away on features. It's kind of like critical function is kind of how we describe it. But those are the three core pieces that we have in, in okay. the Zone 7 line. So that one doesn't have a bib? It does not. Okay. It does not. Okay. No. So move on to your next one then. Which is, thank you, Bill, for, for pushing us to, you know, you talked about adding a bib here last yeah. year. And so we took bib being just a little bit, you know, colder weather oriented. We added that in the, in the dialed in series. We have a parka that's our dialed in parka. Mm. Um, that's a nice, boy, that's a nice midway piece, isn't it? It really is. Wow. This has really become this is one of our best sellers. Yeah, I was going to say, that's about perfect for most people. Yeah, and it's, you know, at 50 degrees is probably a little bit too much. Yeah. But this kind of was an extension of our Zone 7 series to be able to get to, to really handle the single digits if you wanted it to. So but then not be too heavy where you just felt like the Michelin Man if, you know, um, if you were hunting, you know, 20, 30 degrees, that type of stuff. So this one is just more insulation, right? It has it has an extra shell? added, yeah, same shell, okay. has an extra added layer of what we call wind insulation, hmm. in the body and the sleeves, um, lighter in the lighter in the sleeves than it is in the body. This is a, I think a pretty good metaphor for some of the, you know, kind of the smaller features that are big features when you need them. This yeah. is a cuffed pocket. I had this on this morning. 
uh, no hand warmer in there. It was 18, I think, when I left the truck this morning, Bill. Yeah. And no hand warmer in there, and I was barehanded the whole day. It's just amazing the difference that makes. But yeah. just kind of a, a colder weather extension with some more features of the Zone 7. Nice. If anybody yep. asks me, how do you stay warm on stand? Yep. I would say the same thing. Same you difference. got a really good bibs. And then, because what you end up with is like, we talk, I carry it. You know, yep. carry it in, put it down when I get there. You know, slide it over everything I've got. You know, awesome zip open. Um, obviously, the front zip's open, but then uh, there's no cold spot you know, exactly. because now it runs all the way up your back. Exactly. And you get that little extra on your chest. Yep. Um, I mean, I think the bib, if you're trying to stay warm, is the key product. So then, Absolutely. the last one, let's grab that cold fall. Yeah. Park awesome. Um, that is a. So this is. <clears throat> excuse me. This is what you'd wear if it was. You probably aren't going to do a ton of layering underneath it. Probably some lighter, thinner stuff underneath it, right? Yeah. It looks um, pretty heavy. You sure can insulate underneath it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I would feel comfortable if I had my strategy down from, you know, what I walked in with and what I layered up with when I got close to the tree, took good care of my moisture um, on the way in, and then had a layering system. It's a 10 below piece. It yeah. really is. Yeah. No, as, good as, good. It, as good as it gets. Anyway. Well, I mean, it's, I, you got to know what you're doing at 10 below, yeah. as you know. And that's heavy and, and the key to it this is like, five layers i should say too okay okay you know i think we've, we've already said it a couple times but the key is you carry it in yeah it you really know, is. unless you're going a short ways because something like that if i wore that in especially if i had to do any amount of walking or had to hang a stand or something i'd, yep. be, I'd be sweating and then yeah and then it's then it's over yep it really yeah. is i mean ev ev's got some history to fall back on uh, what was your position at cabela's i mean that's how we met a long yeah. long time ago was working with you at Cabela's designing right. outerwear. Yeah, um, I was, well, I had a great run at Cabela's. It was an awesome, awesome career there. Uh, for I spent 30 years there, 25 of which I, I ran hunting clothing for. Yeah. So. so that has been designing and, and uh, I guess sourcing awesome outerwear for 25 years. Yeah. So it's not like you just got up one day and thought, oh, let's do some apparel. Um, this is something that it's in your blood. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and it, like everything, Bill, it's all about, you know, it's all about need, you yeah. know. Uh, necessity is the mother of invention, as they yeah. say, and yeah. just being out here and understanding well, yeah. I'm too cold or I can't move or I, you know, uh, I'm too hot, um, mm -hmm. I'm too noisy. Um, well, the best know. the best guy to design stuff is a guy that's out there hunting. And, yeah. you know, it's nice that, you know, that's, that's where you got your start was in the field and then bringing that to the consumer. Let's talk real quick about what I've got on and, and kind of, yeah. I know you awesome. don't really want to promote it too much because you don't have it. <laughs> I told you, you know, we're going to get, you know, we're going to get 30 calls tonight on how do I get what Bill had on. But so we're expanding into some, some mid layers, um, some base layers. We have a new Merino, uh, what we call Merino shell, which I'm just ecstatic about. And from, I would say it's probably one of the top three things, coolest things I've ever done. Hmm. Um, I'm that giddy about it. It's hmm. stretch. It's, when does that come out? So this is going to be out in August of, of 24. So there's yeah. one last thing we got to talk about before I let you go, and, and it's maybe a little sensitive. <laughs> but this, I mean, is, and, thanks and this a lot, is, Bill. This is the ugliest hat <laughs> that I have ever seen. What is the deal with this? This is, Bill, just put so it know, on your head so people It's, can it's see. not a fashion show out there, just so you know. <laughs> this, is about, oh. this is about critical performance, and so I've got ear flaps so I can pick them up so I can still hear deer coming, you know? Nice, yeah. I've got Good a little thinking. short bill from over by myself, and and uh, not hit, not hit my bowstring. Um, it's just, it's just, this is, this is what's going on. And you actually wore this hat last year, and I'll never forget it, and I still tell the story. I was coming back from seeing a, seeing a customer in Minnesota, and the day you posted it on, first time on the farm, I think is when it yeah, was, yeah. and my phone went, zzz, 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 it was like, I had 40 calls of how do you, how do, where do I get this hat at? And I'm like, no, it's on the website. Before we wrap up, there's one last, uh, category of products that you're making that uh, we need to talk about and that's the packs and that's yeah, something awesome. that, that you've just kind of uh, started into this past year right yeah okay, so yeah show us what you got yeah this is uh this is the bigger of our d two packs this is a double back pack um we had a lot of requests from customers that just said and we do listen to our, our, our customers a lot and just said hey man i wish you guys would take your quiet fabric and make a pack i want a quiet pack we said mm -hmm. oh, no problem and we started down that path and immediately it was like you know what if we're gonna do a pack it needs to be more than just a quiet path and so it's like well what is the biggest you know has to solve problems so this is kind of claim to fame as a double back series um biggest one of the biggest challenges we have is is carrying rattling antlers i don't have any antlers with me this time of year but 
so we just use the lower side of the pack to actually absorb the, the curvature of a set of antlers. And then we have this upper flap um, with buckles under it. And so tines would go down here. Um, you know, the burrs or the bases would go up here. And then you're basically going to just, you know, pull these together. Um, but what we didn't want to do is, okay, great, it carries rattling antlers, but now how do I, you know, did I just give up all the carrying capacity of my pack? And so, hence the name Double Back, so it still has a conventional, hmm. um, you know, side-to-side -side carrying system, so I can have my antlers there or whatever I want. If I'm a saddle hunter, a lot of guys are putting a uh, platform down here, harness down here, and then using the same process for their sticks hmm. as well. Hmm. And it has a drop-down. Both both sides of the packs have a drop down pouch yeah. for a bow or for six well, or for whatever. I you use want. mine yeah. for putting my outerwear. Yeah, like when exactly. I'm going in. So yep. I use the back, the second back, yep. and cinch that stuff in. But it really does a nice job of carrying antlers or anything. And we found some people that have just fell in love with the pack. They really yeah. have. And so we were happy to do something more than just take the simple route and say, oh, we got a really cool quiet pack. And yeah. this has an internal frame and has a has a waist. Uh, waist belt too that's removable and, and you've got one that's not internal frame too we do we have a you know kind of a more of a, a minimalist version same core features mm -hmm. of the antler system or the double back still has these side i don't know if you use these side yeah i would use them this morning with my this coffee is, <laughs> <laughs> exactly but my critical things i need when i don't want to look for i got my release i got my headlamp i got my wind tester i got you know, probably my cell phone in there and these cinch closed. And my grunt call, that's where my grunt call lives. Exactly. Most of the time is in that pocket. So we will make some adjustments for this for next year and, and just keep improving them. And, okay. uh, but so far, so good. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. You bet. Well, that's it, Ev. I think we've covered it, right? It's, we got to yeah. stop somewhere. So, yeah, we'll wrap up here. We appreciate you watching. And, uh, you know, check out the Code of Silence. It's, it's Code of Silence. Dot com, That's correct. It, yep. Okay. And you've got it in some retailers too, but they might we as well do. come to your website. They're in Shields and Sportsman's Guide, um, yeah. Archery Country up in the Twin Cities. I don't know if you know who those guys are. They've been a great partner. Let's Thanks, go Bill. Yeah, yep. my pleasure. Yep.